Many of us are regularly working from home for the very first time, with Microsoft Teams quickly becoming the place we meet, collaborate and get things done. The team here at CompanyNet works with major organisations every day to get them up and running with Microsoft Teams and Office 365. In this video, we'll share some of our top tips and best practices to help you use Teams more productively at this challenging time. When you're in the office, people can just glance at your desk to check whether you're available or busy. When you're working from home though, it's much less obvious. So it might sound like a small detail, but when everyone's working from home, setting your online status can have a really big impact. You can find your status at the top right of the window, where your photo is. This is partially controlled automatically. For example, if you're in a call or in a meeting, it'll change to red for busy. You can take advantage of this by putting blocks of focus time in your calendar, which will make your status change to busy when you need to get your head down and focus on some work. You can also manually set your status by clicking on your photo. If you're going to be away from your desk, you should set a custom status to let people know. For example, you could set your status to out to lunch and have it automatically switch back to available after an hour so you don't have to remember to do it yourself. Now, let's take a look at Teams channels. It's likely you'll be a member of several teams and within those teams, you'll find channels for individual projects. It's worth pinning channels for things you're currently working on to the top of the list so you can find them quickly. You can do this by right-clicking on the channel and selecting Pin. It's also worth checking the full list a couple of times a day to see if any channels are highlighted in bold. That means there's been some activity there that might be of interest. What if you know who or what you're looking for but can't remember where to find it? Simple. Just type it into the search bar at the top of the window. Teams will find people, channels, messages and files that match whatever you've typed in. When you're chatting, don't spend ages typing out loads of text. It's much easier to read shorter messages. Though, if you really need to write a longer message, click on the A button at the bottom of the screen to open the full message editor. This has the advantage that you can press enter without accidentally sending your message. Want to show someone you appreciate their post? Don't just reply, use a reaction instead. These are found at the top right corner of each message. You might not always want to use Teams channels to communicate. To hash things out informally with other people, you can create ad hoc group chats. Just start a private chat with one person, then click the Add People button at the top right. Once you start chatting, you can even rename group chats to make them easier to find and pin them as you would a channel. Video calls are one of the best features of Teams and one that we'll all be using more and more. When you're on a call, turn on video and encourage others to do the same. On many computers, Teams now lets you blur your background so you don't have to worry about anything embarrassing in the room. Make sure you're unmuted when you're speaking and if you can't hear someone, it's okay to ask them to unmute themselves too. Finally, once you're using Teams in earnest, you might find there's a few too many notifications going on. Fortunately, you can bring them under control. Go into your profile by clicking your photo, then selecting Settings and Notifications. From here, you can fine-tune the kinds of notifications you receive. You can also mute individual chats, channels and even people by right-clicking on them and selecting Mute. Just remember to unmute them later if you don't want to miss anything. We hope these tips will help enhance your experience of Microsoft Teams and help you be more productive when you're working from home. If your organization can benefit from any help with Microsoft Teams and remote working with Office 365, the CompanyNet team are here to help. Drop us a line today by visiting company-net.com forward slash contact.